Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I am so glad you're here. You can hear me laughing already, you guys. These two idiots were at it again. They're out and about and we're going to talk about it, but I'm sorry. We can't talk about anything until we talk about the face. What's going on with the face? New face. Who this? I'm pretty proud of this thumbnail. But seriously though, what is going on with this face? So much to talk about. Here to discuss it all with me is... I was going to make a joke about your face, but you have a lovely face. Say hello to everybody. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to hop on me at the polo match. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> hey, this is Jay, also known as Dr. Bad Vibes. I am here to talk about um, breaking news. <laughs> so uh, I can't really even make jokes. I'm just kind of in shock. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not trying to be funny. I'm truly like, wow, what? What? Yeah. Did you just say nobody's going to hop on you? Just think about what he's saying there, horsey. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, um, we have so much to discuss, but I can't look away. What's going on? What, what's wrong? How does somebody grow a new head every couple of months? This is so bizarre. But I'm Jen. He's Jay. Thanks for being here. Hong Kong, everyone. Boy, oh boy, these two. All right, so I'm just going to show you the article quickly. I don't really care where they are and what they're up to, but I have so many thoughts on this because a lot of weird photos came out, and we need to we need to talk about this. All right, so that one, Rachel plants a passionate kiss on Henry as she presents him with trophy. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it and say, yes, she does, but... I also have a photo when they don't think the cameras are on them and see if you can tell the difference of how they're acting. <laughs> Spoiler alert, you'll be able to tell. But um, yeah, they brought a Netflix crew and went to Miami and um, of course did not bring the kids. But don't worry, there are kids there. This is so weird. There's so much weirdness to this. I just want to dive in. So I'm not even going to read all this. I'm just letting you know. Yep, so those two were at a polo charity polo match in Miami. Whoopity doo da! She wore beige. I'm gonna talk about that. This outfit, you guys, so much to discuss. Um, pretending to like each other. Here you go. It's all for the Netflix thing that that we've j recently learned about. My first thought before we even get into the pictures is this: Who wants to watch a show about polo? Why are they giving this idiot, oh, these idiots, any kind of airtime still? Clearly, they flop at things, but polo is so specific. Listen, if you like polo, enjoy polo. It's fine. But I want to give credit. I tried to go back and find it. I cannot find it to save my life. I think. I'm pretty sure it was the um, the Royal Rogue, the, bo the body language guy, right, that said something along the lines of, I wish I had in front of me, like, name three polo players. Bet you can't do it. Something like that. Or, or tell me your top three polo players. Bet you can't do it. Because it's just so specific. Who is this for? Seriously, what a niche product. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, it's fine. That polo's a sport. If you enjoy polo, more power to you. I'm not crapping on polo. Yeah. It's not that common, though. That's what I'm... In here, yeah. Uh, it, well, at least in the U.S. I don't know. You know, you got polo all over in the U.K. I don't know. I, probably still not, but I don't know. Um, like, the only times I've ever seen polo are in cartoons. <laughs> like, you don't see polo in the U.S. Uh-huh. And... I can't imagine that's going to have a huge audience on Netflix. And so the question is why? Like, you would capture a larger audience with uh, a NASCAR thing. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we'll laugh at that, but there's probably a bigger... NASCAR fills up stadiums. Yeah. Polo does not in the yeah. U.S. So yeah. you, that's what I'm getting at. I'm not, compar I'm not comparing apples and oranges sport to sport. I'm just saying, like, Netflix is a business that wants to capture subscriptions, how are they going to do that with something that maybe, a, I don't know, a few thousand people yeah. want to watch? I don't know. I maybe, I mean, people like horses. Maybe there's enough appeal. I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to rationalize it for the sake of argument, but I, I can't like, so weird. I want to add on to what you're saying there. People like horses. Yes. Normal people like horses. Harry has a history of not liking horses. He has a history of mistreating them. We've seen the photos. I don't even want to share them here because they're disgusting. Uh, we know the stories of hurting uh, polo horses and stuff. So of all people to keep away from the damn horses is this idiot. And yet again, here we are. I, I, I'm totally with you, Jay. I can acknowledge that polo is probably huge in the UK. I, I know I've seen like 
where women go to polo matches. Well, not just women, but you know what I mean? People go to polo matches and dress nice. It's an occasion. It's just not something we're known for over here. It's like having a show about cricket over here. I understand that it's a thing that people enjoy. It's just not big over here necessarily. So I find this whole thing so weird. Who is this for? That is a very good point. I totally forgot about the horse history. (laughs) Maybe I could get an opinion direct from Mr. Horse. No, sir, I don't like it. <laughs> if you ca- if you get that reference, check me out on Dr. Bed- Dr. Bedbab Speaks on YouTube. If you don't, I'm sorry. Keep listening to Jen. <laughs> right. Enough about the logistics of this. Let's just talk about the photos because we got a ton of them, and I want to talk about them, and I won't just keep showing this one. I'm just stalling because they're unbelievable. So much uh, rife with the uh, opportunities to make fun of them. But let me just start by saying this. Now, I have done a video. Let me flash it right here. I did a video, so much cringe at the polo match, right? Polo award ceremony, where Megan's grabbing on the trophy, putting herself in the middle. Who could forget? And we'll talk about that because she puts herself in the middle again here. Spoiler alert. But I, I, my first thought is, oh, again, it's about changing the Google history. This is about now when you Google Megan Polo Match, these photos, God forbid, will pop up. I'm sorry, I'm looking at her face. Um, will pop up instead. She's trying to, I just have this suspicion, she's trying to bury the embarrassing thing from what was it, 2021, 2022, whenever that was, when she was making an ass of herself at the Polo Match. Mission accomplished? <laughs> Question mark. Uh, I guess the worst case scenario for her is when you search that, you're going to find all the photos now. Yeah. I don't think these new ones really help things a lot. It uh, doesn't look like the same person. Yeah, and a lot of them are just, I'm not even like just trying to be judgmental. They're just bad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I might be off. I don't know. I've never done fillers. Like, I'm, I've done Botox. I've never done fillers. So I don't really know how they. I mean, I, I, I'm aware of them through Housewives, but I just, I'm just suspecting here. Having lost so much weight on whatever she's on, whatever she's doing, she's like crazy skinny now. So I'm saying, has she filled back up her face to avoid that uh, quote unquote Ozempic face or whatever's going on, whatever's <laughs> happening? I just wonder because her face is so different here. I'm used to seeing her in this bright orange bronzer, right? She still clearly got the bronzer. Look around the cheek area, but there's something else. It's like whoever painted on her face this day used like dirty makeup brushes. I can't explain it. It doesn't look something's really wrong, and it it might be that the <laughs> the veneers are just so white, like <laughs> insanely white and prominent, that it's making the rest of her. It just it makes her complete coloring. I don't know, the bronzer and stuff, just completely wrong. I mean, I've talked about it before. It appears to me, in my opinion, she's had several sets of veneers, but what is this? Well, I'm no expert, but when you when you get new veneers, you take the, the old pair off, right? You don't just keep <laughs> sticking them on each other, because that's what it looks like. It's like some... Did you ever have one of those walls at like school or college where people just keep painting over them over and over and it's just so thick it's like unrecognizable? Wow, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, there's something going on. Yeah. Speaking of something going on, there is, ooh, something going on with my voice, but there's something going on with this outfit too, okay? Those are pants. I just want you to think that that's pants. <laughs> there, what are, oh my God, there's just so much wrong. Okay. Breathe, Jen. Here we go. It seems to be a shade of beige. It's like cream and beige. So we got that. Of course, that's the only color she's able to wear now. I want to point out that they're walking across a grassy field, but she's clearly in heels and not wedges. So she's sinking into the ground. I don't understand this outfit. Hey, look at me. Look at my sternum. By the way, what's up with this pose? Is this like the poster of a Bond movie or they just have... Is it really warm or they just have wicked swamp ass and they're trying to air it out? Like, who, who stands like that? God, when you said swamp ass, all I started hearing in my head was Shrek. Donkey! <laughs> swamp! <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, the outfits don't make any sense. The poses don't make any sense. I'm pointing out this picture here because, look, they're all happy and in love because, you know, the, the cameras are 
up their asses. I don't know, whatever, like playing look at us with the cameras. But then I want to show you when they don't think the cameras are on them. Look at this. Here you go. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you either. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just get that feeling? It's all about the cameras. Oh, I mean, it's them. It's always about the cameras. I think they can't stand each other. But when the cameras are on, it's like, shit, we're stuck with each other. Let's pretend to like each other. So they do that. And then, you know, when they don't think the cameras are on, you get moments like this. And there's this, you know, it had to happen right in the middle, has to put herself in the middle. Okay. So Jay, next time you go bowling or something, I'm going to invite myself to guys night, shove myself in the middle of it and demand that uh, I stand right in the middle and have everybody's attention. And if you're holding like, I don't, again, Jay doesn't even bowl, but like a bowling trophy or something, well, I'm gonna demand that I get to hold it and try to steal it from your teammates. How do you think that would go? It would probably go like the first time she did it <laughs> where, the, where the teammates are like, what the hell are you doing here? This one is much more subdued. And I think that does lend credence to your idea that they're trying to erase that first, uh, cringe moment out of uh, the internet's memory uh, where she's just standing there and not trying to yank it away and parade it above everybody else like she won it solely uh. but it's still weird like what does she have to do with it it's just inserting herself as the center of attention yep. for no reason stop and if you thought that was the end of the weirdness don't worry the weirdness keeps going look at this okay so that beautiful lady up front she is married to nacho who is of course one of the polo players harry's friend okay that girl that megan is rachel is holding hands with there she's she's a beautiful little girl that is um nacho's dot nacho and the lady in front's daughter and megan is walking and holding hands with her and smiling for the camera to show what she's good with kids that she's maternal how do you think it will go if you believe the kids exist? But when the kids are older and they see, huh, mom and dad continued to go to these places and leave us. They never were anywhere with us. No photos of anywhere with us. They're holding hands with, I don't friends, kids and not us. So imagine you take, you know, you, I don't know, pick somewhere. You go to Florida or whatever and you leave your children at home and you take your friend's kids. Doesn't that strike you as so freaking weird? Because it does me. To me, this says, listen, it's safe enough for, you know, these underlings to bring their children, but we shall not bring ours. Isn't that weird? I mean, we just, we're on the heels of wonderful family photos we just got of Prince William taking Prince George I can't remember where it was, to a sporting event. And it was so sweet to see them, okay? Normal things that families do together, you know, go to sporting events, but not these two, huh-uh. It's so weird. Yeah, that's got to be one of the strangest decisions with all this. Like, I'm not keeping track of their kids. You know, I don't want to even talk about their kids. That's whatever. But it's hard to ignore. Their behavior around the kids. Yeah, like. How many fun things have they gone to with no kids and now they're bringing like the friend's kid? Yeah. Like if I went to a sporting event or a movie or a monster truck rally, Anywhere. I'll probably see if, if my kid wants to go. I'm not going to just go to the neighbor's kid and be like, hey, hey, bucko, you're coming with me. <laughs> Stay <laughs> home. Stay home, my own child, <laughs> because that's a thing that I do. Yeah. No, that's insane. Yeah. What? I don't get it. You know, I had to point this out as well. Again, you can see it's like a creamy, creamy beige. I say it like that because it's so boring. But um, again, we're wrinkled. Why wear this material? It doesn't make any sense because you just look like a wrinkled mess. It's pulling weird. Again, it's like, hello, here's my sternum. Look how thin I am. Look how much weight I've lost. Look at me. Well, I gaze at doofus. I don't know. It's just so much going wrong here. This is what they're doing for the cameras. Who's going to watch this? I don't understand. Oh, yes. Now look at me and how much weight I have lost. I attribute it to my constant oscillating. Oh, God. Oscillating constantly burns so many calories. Ew. Okay. Well, that's all I got. If you want to hear more from me, check me out on YouTube as Dr. Bad Vibe Speaks. If you like video games, check me out on just plain Dr. Bad Vibes and twitch.tv slash Dr. Bad Vibes. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Didn't you wear a horse mask at the beginning of the last stream you did? 
Yeah, it, I couldn't find the actual horse mask, but I found uh, I found the unicorn mask. <laughs> it's a, same thing. It's just a, a white version with a horn. It's the same mask. Oh my goodness! So there's that. They did a thing. Uh, I just fill me in on everything. What are your thoughts on the teeth? New face? Who this? Like, what's going on? What? All of it. Who's gonna watch this? Who is this for? I really don't understand. Like. I don't. I just don't think there's that many non-bots that are following their every every move that will be enough to carry this. Clearly not, because they couldn't carry the podcast either. I mean, what? I don't know. Uh, but I didn't even include these. There's a lot of like, look at us, we're in love, and smooching pictures. Who cares? They did a thing. Whoop de doo. There you go. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. I truly can't wait to read your comments on this one. The mess of it all. Uh, I did have another episode of the Lady C book, but I bumped it for this. So don't worry. I promise we are keeping on with Lady C. Also on, I think this is going up Saturday. So on Sunday, I will post in the community tab. Uh, I am doing a live stream with Stephanie of Sidley Twins. So look for that. It's on, uh, of course, Twin Talk. I'll post the details. I think it's going to be around 4 p.m. Eastern time. You can find that. And then tentatively, and I'll announce if this happens, but we will then stream over here afterwards. I'll do some streaming. Then Jay will do some streaming. We'll, we'll have a party. So join me on Sunday. Just get ready for that. Um, and uh, we'll see you there. Thanks so much for being here. So much, so many more videos coming up. So check back lots. And again, we will continue on the Lady C book very soon because we're getting to the juicy stuff, aka the bump of it all. Thanks for being here. Have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.